Number 1. Frida Kahlo Once upon a time, in a bright blue house near Mexico City, lived a small girl called Frida. She would grow up to be one of the most famous painters of the 20th century, but she almost didn't grow up at all. When she was six, she nearly died from polio. The disease left her with a permanent limp, but that didn't stop her from playing, swimming and wrestling just like all the other kids. Then, when she was 18, she was involved in a terrible bus accident. She almost died again, and again she spent months in bed. Her mother made her a special easel so that she could paint while lying down. For more than anything else, Frida loved to paint. As soon as she was able to walk again, she went to see Mexico's most famous artist, Diego Rivera. Are my paintings any good? She asked him. Her paintings were amazing, bold, bright and beautiful. He fell in love with them and he fell in love with Frida. Diego and Frida got married. He was a big man with a large floppy hat. She looked tiny beside him. People called them the elephant and the dove. Frida painted hundreds of beautiful self-portraits during her life, often surrounded by the animals and birds that she kept. The bright blue house where she lived has been kept just as she left it, full of colour and joy and flowers. Number 2. Fatouma Daib Once, there lived a girl whose childhood was spent trying to escape from war. Fatouma and her family had to stay one step ahead of the fighting and she could not go to school. She did not learn to read and write until she was 14. One day, her mother told her, you must leave the country, take your brother and sister and go. Fadumo knew that her mother was right. War-torn Somalia was one of the most dangerous places for children. When they finally arrived in Finland, they could do all the things that children can do when they live in a peaceful, democratic country. They had a home and beds. They had food every day. They could play and go to school. They were never beaten and they could see a doctor for free when they were ill. But Fadumo never forgot about Somalia. She wanted to learn everything she could so that she could go back to her own country and help her people regain freedom and peace. After earning three master's degrees, she left her family in Finland and started to work for the United Nations to set up hospitals across Somalia. I have to be there, she told her husband. Today, Fadumo is Somalia's first female presidential candidate. No Somali woman has ever run for president before because it's extremely dangerous. But Fadumo has no doubts. My mother always told me, you hold all life's possibilities in the palm of your hand. And that's true.